Switch tips 302, how to add a preloader. If your final SWF file is over 200 kilobytes in size, it's good practice to add a preloader. The preloader loads quickly and plays at the start of a movie to indicate to the user that the remainder of the movie is loading. It could include things like a company logo and a small text introduction. The component preloaders included with Max 3 and Mini Max 3 allow this task to be achieved in a few minutes. This video will show you how. This tutorial is an excerpt from the rotating chicken tutorial. That demonstration resulted in an SWF file of greater than 700 kilobytes, so a preloader is needed. Stop the preview, select Scene 1, and set the Stop Playing at End checkbox. Minimize the scene in the outline panel. Insert a new scene and rename it Scene underscore Preloader. Set the Stop Playing at End checkbox, and use the arrow in the outline panel to move it up, making it the first scene. From the Components panel, Drag load a circle onto the stage. Change the when loaded parameter from demo mode to play next scene. Retest the movie. Save the movie. It is possible to simulate various download speeds via the debug panel. First, open the debug panel. Select the download speed that you wish to simulate. Reposition the debug panel so that you can see your movie and then press the preview button. This will simulate your movie being loaded at the chosen speed. Note how the preloader is visible while the movie is loading. The progress bar in the debug panel indicates how much of the movie has loaded. When the movie is fully loaded, it will progress to the second scene and display the chicken. That pretty much completes the tutorial. Additional information can be found on our blog page at http://blog.swishzone.com.